Hello P6 students, parents and guardians. Welcome to our radio learning program for science. This is a continuation of radio programs produced by Rwanda Education Board with the support from UNICEF Rwanda and in partnership with Inspire, Educate and Empower Rwanda, IEE. We will be learning science together with primary six students. Welcome. I am teacher Gerald. This program is organized so that our children can keep on learning while at home. And I hope you parents, you are happy to be with us in this. Students, get your pens and notebooks for taking notes, doing exercises and homework. And also remember still to bring with you the textbook or the few printed pages as we agreed last time. Then sit next to the radio. Tune it to be loud enough and be ready to listen to it keenly. Is that clear? Good. Now, before we start, let us stand up to sing a warm-up song. I am going to sing the song two times as you listen. Then you will join me as we sing for the third time. Is that clear? Good. The song is a simple song. Roll, roll, roll your boat gentle down the stream. Merrily, 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 love is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gentle down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Students, it is your turn to join me. Then we sing together. Ready? Let's sing. Row, row, row your boat gentle down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Wonderful. Now, students, can you remember what we learned about last time? Can you remember what we learned about last time? Great. Last time, we learned about the process of human blood circulation. The process of human blood circulation. Is that correct? Great. Now, students, can you remember the names of the blood vessels that we learned? Can you remember the names of the blood vessels that we learned? Perfect. The blood vessels that we learned include the arteries. The arteries that carry blood from the heart to all parts of the body. Number two was the veins. The veins that carry blood from all parts of the body back to the heart. Then we talked about capillaries. Capillaries that act as a link between arteries and the veins and they reach the muscles. Capillaries that act as a link between the arteries and veins and they act, they reach the muscles. Wonderful. Come along and play with us. Now, students, today we are going to learn about components of human blood. Write that one down. The components of human blood. Mm-hmm. My friends, 
the components of human blood. That means, what does human blood contain? Or what makes the human blood? Good. Blood is the red fluid found in our bodies. When something cuts you accidentally, or when you are nose bleeding, you can see the red liquid that is coming out. That is red bl blood. Blood is the red fluid found in our bodies. It has four main components. Blood has four main components. And every component has got its work. Every component has its work. And that is the why that I was talking about. Number one, plasma. Right, plasma. P L A S M A. Plasma. This is the main component of blood. This part is mainly the liquid. It is 55% of the liquid. It forms the volume and quantity into which blood cells and other things can flow. Plasma is the main component of blood. It is mainly the liquid. It forms 55% of the blood and gives the volume and quantity into which blood cells and other things can flow. If it is less, then that is when we hear so and so has little blood. When you hear some people are sick, then we say they have little blood. It is because the plasma is less. Do you understand? Perfect. Now, the second component of blood is red blood cells. Write that one. Red blood cells. Red blood cells help to carry oxygen from the lungs to all body organs. The red blood cells help to carry oxygen which we get from the lungs to all body organs. The red blood cells makes 44%. The red blood cells make 44% of the blood. They contain a red coloring matter called hemoglobin. The red blood cells contain a red coloring matter called hemoglobin. I'm spelling hemoglobin. H-A-E-M-O-G-L-O-B-I-N. N. Hemoglobin. The red coloring matter is called hemoglobin. Red blood cells are very, very important because of oxygen. And now it looks thick red. Clear red and thick. Why? The blood that contains oxygen is called oxygenated blood. It is scarlet or bright red. The oxygenated blood is scarlet or bright red in color. Blood that has lost oxygen and has more carbon dioxide is called deoxygenated blood. It is dark red in color. Are we together? Wonderful. Now, we have the third category, the third component, which is called white blood cells. White blood cells. Write that one down. Good. White blood cells help to fight and kill diseases causing germs. In our body, 
some diseases that are causing germs can come in. But when we have the white blood cells, the soldiers, I sometimes call them the soldiers, they fight against diseases and they kill them to make us become safe. They are therefore responsible for body immunity. Do you get that? The white blood cells are responsible for body immunity. The more we have the white blood cells, the more immune we are. Do you get that? Remember disease germs, they kill the white blood cells. So we are not much immune. We can get sick because we have less white blood cells. But when there is much white blood cells, we are immune because our body can fight the diseases. The fourth component of the blood is platelets. Say platelets. Good, I'm spelling. P L A T E L E T S platelets. Good. Platelets are responsible for clotting of blood. They therefore help to stop bleeding in case of an injury. They also help during the healing of the wounds. My friend, sometimes when there is a cut on your body, you realize that the blood is clotting. Then it dries up there. Why? The platelet does not want us to lose more blood. So it forms the clotting. Then after clotting there, the blood will stop bleeding and so the remaining blood will remain in our body to help us continue moving alive. Are we together? Good. Come along and play with us. Now, let us see about caring for and health of circulatory system. We are about to see the caring for and the health of circulatory system. What to do in order to keep our blood circulatory system healthy? How to take care of the human heart? How? How do we take care of the human heart? Which we have seen is the main organ that pumps the blood. Or what can we do in order to keep any blood or our blood circulatory system healthy? Good. Hygiene of the human heart, the blood, and the blood vessels. Have you written that? Hygiene of the human heart, comma, blood, and blood vessels. Now, I want you to get a new page from your notebook, children. Get a new page from your notebook. Divide the book into three equal parts from top to bottom. Divide the book into three equal parts from top to bottom. Is that clear? Good. Draw a small row at the top from left to right. In the first column, top, write how to take care of human heart. In the first column, now write how to take care of human heart. Is that clear? Bright. In the second column, the top, write how to take care of blood. How to take care of blood. Then in the third column, at the top, write how to take care of blood vessels. How to take care 
of blood vessels. Seconds to do that. Perfect. Now, we are going to fill in the table with you. Are you ready? Wonderful. Now, in the first column, which is how to take care of human heart, write the following. Eat healthy food. Eat healthy food. That is a balanced diet. Number two, exercise regularly. Do exercises. Exercise regularly. Number three, avoid taking too much alcohol. Avoid taking too much alcohol. Number four, avoid smoking. Avoid smoking. Number five, know how to manage your life stresses. Know how to manage your life stresses. Okay, is that clear? Good. Let us now go to take care of blood in column number two. How to take care of blood? Number one, healthy diet. Healthy diet. Number two, regular exercise. Regular exercise. Number three, drinking plenty of water. Drinking plenty of water. Number four, Avoid behaviors that may expose you to HIV and AIDS. Avoid behaviors that may expose you to HIV and AIDS. Number five, keep your weight checked. Keep your weight checked. Number six, avoid excessive loss of weight. Avoid excessive loss of weight. Now, the last column, which is how to take care of blood vessels. How to take care of blood vessels. Are we together there? Great. Eating healthily. Eating healthily. Regular exercises. Regular exercises. Avoiding smoking and taking alcohol. Avoiding smoking and taking alcohol. The last, managing stress before it gets worse. Managing stress before it gets worse. Good children, I hope you have understood that. Great. At your free time, after the lesson today, take time. Go through the notes and see into the table that we have developed. Is that clear, my friends? Excellent. Now, that is going to be the end of our lesson today. I hope to meet you all in the next radio lesson. Until then, bye-bye. Goodbye, 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 teacher. Goodbye, children. See you next time. Goodbye, 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 teacher. Goodbye, children. See you next time.